Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield's Food Review versus It's, it's Wendy's, Wendy's Double Stack, Stack versus McDonald's McDouble. In the battle to see who has the best double burger with cheese. Now kids, fight! Can I get um, a McDouble and that's it? So, so you you just want one McDouble? Yep. Okay. You want sixty? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for choosing my bunnies. How may I help you? So today we are gonna answer the age-old question. That question is, who has the better burger? Two of them with cheese, because I used to always call them a double cheeseburger, and just recently I realized that was incorrect. Double cheeseburger means two pieces of cheese. I actually always associate that being two burgers with a piece of cheese. It's two burgers. Actually, I guess a double cheeseburger technically could just be two pieces of cheese and a burger. Yeah, I guess so, if that's what they're basing it on. Because I was a little confused, because I'm a little slow, that, okay, we have the double stack, and then we have the McDouble. And I was like, well, what the hell's the difference of a McDouble and a double cheeseburger? Well, the difference is the double cheeseburger has two slices of cheese, and the McDouble does not. So I was like, oh. Wait, what? Hey, so these are equivalent. And we were like, who has it better? We know Ronald and Wendy ain't fans. They don't like each other very much. At least I, that's how I like to see it. I like to see that they see each other at a party or something. It's real awkward. They don't like each other. So this right here is the McDouble from McDonald's. It is, oh, it does have onions. It has their little minced onions on it. It has, uh, looks like mustard, ketchup, ketchup, and a pickle. And then of course your cheese and two patties. The cheese is in between the two patties, as it should be. And their their buns are toasted. Oh, they have toasted buns. And I don't think theirs is. Wendy's is. Wendy's uh, doesn't appear to have a toasted bun. <laughs> they like their plain buns. They have onions as well, but they are rings. It looks like rings of red onions. Mm -hmm. And then they have mustard, ketchup, pickle, but a different pretty kind much, of pickle. Pretty much the same, just slightly different. Well, also the big thing, square patties. Yeah. Wendy's got the square bag, this has got to be different. I used to get the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger from there. Yeah, I did too. That should be called the Mayonnaise Burger. Because I remember when I used to get that, it was loaded with mayonnaise. I used to have to ask him for it without, and they would always still put it on. They're like, he didn't mean that. <laughs> Couldn't have been what he meant. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a whole lot extra to he make him extra. sick. <laughs> Let's go with size. Which one appears to be bigger? Pretty much the same. I they think. are, you know what it is? It, there, there's the appearance of one being much bigger than the other and that's because the bun. Yeah, the meat itself is the same. Pretty close, real close. Yeah. There's such yeah. a weird thing with the McDonald's one. I can instantly recognize that by smell because of the onions and ketchup and pickle, but this has the same thing on it, but it smells differently because it's a red onion. Yeah. So here's our first bite of the McDouble. Bottoms up. More like McPickle. I got like three pickles in that bite. I can hear it. Mm. It's McDonald's burger. Mm -hmm. But of course you get the very distinctive little onions, which is funny because as a kid, I hated onions, I hated but I too. liked McDonald's onions. Mm -hmm. I didn't like any onions. I get it without onions. Wendy's. That is a completely different taste. Well, those onions. Those onions are overwhelming. No, but even the burger meat tastes different. It's, I mean, obviously, it's, I, don't know, that's, I really thought they were going to be a lot more similar. Let's go back in for seconds of each, and then what we'll do is we'll break down each category. Hmm. Hmm. Both bites I had were different. Mm hmm, me too. Wash it down with a, a pepper that the doctor ordered. Let's do just the burger. We're gonna try to cut the bread out and the condiments just so we can see what the, the heart of the burger tastes like. Okay. That was surprising. Huh. Hmm. All right. This is just full of twists and turns. This is like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. You want any more bites? Are you good? I'm good. You're good to make your judgments? Yes. Okay. Like your little phantom wave. Hey. Let's go over value first. The value, 
It's hard to determine at this point because we got the McDouble and it was exactly $1.60. The double stack was part of a four for four. So that's a dollar a piece. For this very competition, that burger was $1. So obviously value, they're essentially the same thing. Wendy's gonna win on that and we don't have to do one, two, three, go. Now let's go with the bun. Do you know what bun you like better? Who has the better buns? Wendy or McDonald's? One, two, three, McDonald's. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it just was better. And it it was. Good, and I think that helps. I really like McDonald's bun. I was surprised by that. Honestly, and there was less of it. And, and that allowed for more of the burger mm -hmm. flavor, so. Okay, I have no idea what she's gonna say. I actually thought she's gonna say Wendy, so this is gonna be interesting. Now, just the condiments as a whole, including the pickle, and they are distinctly different pickles. Mm -hmm. Pickles, onions, and the way they're cut onions, one, are, one is a white onion, one is a red onion, mm -hmm. and then the mustard and ketchup and all that stuff. All right, one, two, three, Wendy's. Wendy's. <laughs> yep, I agree. I thought their pickle was a little tastier, a little crisper, more of a dill type, yeah. I like like a Klassen, and the, onion the onions. Really just, it's if you like onion, then you're gonna like that better. The cheese is literally identical American cheese. It did seem like there might have been a little bit more on the McDonald's, on the McDonald's one. So again, that's not even an opinion. It just seemed like there was more. So for the more cheesy one, I think McDonald's gonna get that one. Just yeah. that's just sight sight on scene there. So McDonald's is up two to one right now. No, 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 two to two. Wendy's is the so right now. I'm sorry, I said it was one. It's two to two because the value was okay. Wendy's. I forgot about that one. So technically, they kind of offset each other. The mm -hmm. cheese and the value. So we are now two to two, the meat. This is just what we thought when we tasted the meat, which one just was more appealing. One, two, three, McDonald's. McDonald's. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> McDonald's, that surprises the hell out of me. It had a lot of flavor. It did. Oh, at least what we just tried. Wendy's had a bland taste yeah. to it. When I, and there's a point that I had actually mentioned that this is surprising. And that's what I was referring to. The fact that the McDonald's one, the McDonald's burger, the beef patty, all beef patty by itself was distinct in its flavor. Like as soon as I tasted it, I was like, oh, that's actually pretty good. I like that. And then I had the Wendy's, I was like. Hmm. I thought Wendy's would win that one. Yeah, I, I did too. <laughs> I know we're like, we have no preconceived notions. Well, we had preconceived notions and that's what that notion was. It's about the entire package. And to me, this is gonna go into one of these was surprisingly, and not saying which one, was surprisingly addictive. There was one I kept wanting to go back to. <laughs> I don't know why, it was just what my, my flavor buzz were going to. So, for the battle of, so right now it is three to two, correct? It is three to two McDonald's. Wendy's could pull in for a tie, three to three, but here's the thing. The overall score is worth like three points in itself. So if it's close and then we go, the overall winner is this, kind of doesn't really matter. So it's arbitrary scoring. Like if we say, oh, their pickles are better, their cheese is better, their bun's better, but the beef sucks. Chances are the one with the beef, the great beef's gonna win, but that's not the case here. This is close. So it's anyone's game. Who wins battle of the best double burger with cheese? Stupid nothing, what do they call it? Double cheeseburger. One, two, three, McDonald's. <laughs> oh, people are gonna be pissed. I thought Wendy's was gonna win. I did too. I, that's, but I don't know. This had like almost like a creamy quality with the cheese in there. It's really good. It's good. It the was, bread was good. Better and it was toasted. I did go into this 100% thinking it was going to be a double stack. I've never had a McDouble in my life. And I've only had a handful of double cheeseburgers from there. I have had plenty of double stacks. I really like them. Now, having them side by side, this is what it is. Yes, I know. This is not a five guys double cheeseburger. Next level burger. It's a fast food hamburger. And what McDonald's did was it absolutely hit all the points that my brain wants for a fast food double burger. It hits that nostalgia, boom, right in your brain. And instantly there's the saltiness, you know, it, it, there's the, the, the pickle, the mustard, the onions, even though I thought the onions were tastier in, in the double stack, mm -hmm. it was the overall experience that you got. And the fact that when you ate all that with the burger, the burger itself, the flavor that you think of when you think of McDonald's or you think of hamburgers, it was like, it was a perfect blend of flavors. Whereas on this, it felt like it got a little lost. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised. I'm very surprised. Look at it. That's my surprise look. That's how I felt inside. I just couldn't show you guys that. 
I'm telling you guys, try them side by side and just see what you think. I mean, you might not agree with us, but it, it then uh, again, it comes down to also who made them. I think they were both pretty fresh. Yeah, they, they both seem good. They were both fresh. And in fact, we got the McDonald's one first. So technically that was a little older. So that's what we think, guys. I don't know. There's gonna be people who definitely disagree with this, but I, I, you know what? I strongly encourage you to go out and try it. It's like right now you can try both these at the same time for less than three bucks. It's a fun little experiment and you, and you get some food. <laughs> like a corn ball. Like, oh, you got a little, you got a little snack in the process. Oh, it's fun for the whole family. Ugh. What you do is you cut up in fours and try everyone. Hey, hey, little Jimmy, what did you think of the bird? If you do that, let me know in the comments below. Now, that's our latest versus video. We're gonna have a lot more versus videos. We're gonna have a lot more recipe videos. We're gonna have a lot more reviews. And I even am starting to do another channel with funny videos. Well, these are kind of funny, but you'll see. And I, I'm not gonna post them on the food channel because I don't like when people do that. People start shoehorning other ideas and they're like, you like food and you'll like this too. But I'm gonna start another channel. I'm gonna do a lot more live stuff. So you can expect to see a lot more Whitfield's food review. Hopefully that's a good thing. Cause it's a good thing for us. Cause we like seeing you. We like hearing, well, we don't see you. We like hearing from you. We like talking to you. The live videos are a lot of fun. Either way, let us know in the comments. We want to hear a bunch of comments about what you think on this. If you think we're stupid, let us know you think you're stupid. <laughs> it's okay. You do anyway, but let us know what you think in the comments below. What else would you like to see versus what else would you like to see us do copycat recipes? What else would you like to see us do? So thank y'all for watching. So please like, comment, subscribe, follow us on all these things up on y'all. And you will get to know if you hit that little notification button, you will always know what we are up to because YouTube's like, mm -hmm. not today. So it's important that you follow us on these things, hit the notification button. Otherwise, you might not know we even exist anymore. So thank you all for watching. And until next time. You're right, hit your head on that microphone one time. <laughs>